pocket gyro. Yeah. That's like, that's it's like pocketing Diddy Banana, you know what I mean? So, uh, ooh, missed the throw follow up there. But, uh, so yeah, we're probably going to be seeing a lot of pocketed gyros, um, maybe even pocketed lasers, if the time is right. And, uh, some camping. So, <laughs> fun see times. Him to do it right there. Yeah. He's getting pelleted for it. He's ready. Oh, wow, that catch was amazing. <laughs> I, I can't tell if that was, like, on purpose or not. Because that was like, he instantly grabbed it. I think he was just trying to nair. <laughs> so, uh, Brand only has a very small uh, percent lead here. He's just been getting the hits in neutral, really. Like, he hasn't been throwing out his... Well, he's been throwing out his projectiles, but they haven't really been working out too well. But he's gotten a few of those up tilt confirms, so... Yeah, Nico's just trying to kind of throw out things and save distance, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's what he does. That's what both of them do. So I feel like... Uh, I feel like we got a long set ahead of us, but... For sure. Um, especially with Gyro being out of the mix. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. They, he can reflect stuff too. Oh, oh this matchup is gonna <laughs> it's gonna be the death of me. Okay. Ooh. And that's I'm, gonna be really interesting seeing the edge guarding that Wild can do here. Because well, they both have very linear recoveries. Well, not as much Rob because he can throw out his aerials between them. But they both have you know jetpack recoveries. So um, yeah, we're probably gonna be seeing some sick edge guards later on. I'm surprised in that one edge guard scenario, he went for down air instead of like a, a back air or something. Usually, back air stage spikes a lot harder. For the tree setup? That's not gonna work though. Wind's too smart for that. The axe is really. Oh! Wow, that was wild. I like that. Oh, I did not mean oh. that. Was... I did not. The bowling ball. I'm sorry for that pun. It was, I swear it was an accident. I said that was wild and that's not okay. Uh, but we got a, we definitely got a match here. Oof. I think he was trying to catch, uh, trying to catch jump from ledge or maybe ledge attack. That dare would have worked, but uh, nice. Was that a beep boop or was that off uh, an up tilt? It was just kind of raw. It was just kind of raw? Okay. Oh! Edge guard? Okay. I'm surprised he didn't go for the nair there. Honestly, I'm I I agree. I feel like he could have gotten a lot off of that, but uh, not too big of a deal. He's still got a percent lead. He's just gotta not make any super rash decisions. Ooh, that gyro's there. He's got it. Man, I'm surprised. I, I saw Brand was trying to pick up the gyro to keep him from uh, from pocketing it, but he failed to do that. Gotta, gotta keep that sapling in mind. Decides to just grow it right away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's in. I mean, honestly, he's in a really good position right. Oh, well, the tree's gone, but he's still got that gyro. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't refresh it there. Ah, very nice axe. Oh, he almost died. Imagine if he would have died all the way across. Oh. That's it. Wow, that was nice. I like that. Got the three turn -ups. Nice pull. You got a beetle. It's <laughs> a solid pull. Yeah, that's a pretty good pull. So where do you think Brand wants to go here? Probably not going to be able to go to town and city. Honestly, I mean, he wants to go to town and city, most likely. But uh, Wild's probably not going to let him. Okay, back to Smashville. Makes sense. Starting out game two. Wait, did he already pocket the gyro? I don't even know, to be honest. He's going I, in here. Yeah, he already start. pocketed it. Oh, no. Okay, up throw conversion. Oh, he was trying to bait out an option, but he got hit by the nair anyways. And Wild starting out this game really, really strong. Yeah, he's in a great position. He's got a, a pretty oh, wow. decently sized... Five. Oh, my God. I know what that feels like too. That's a good I, I used to play with Wild so much, and 
the feeling of just like, you know, feeling like you can beat the up air. You're like, oh, what is it? It's just a little stupid turnip. You know, I can beat that. And then he just keeps hitting you over and over again. And all it does is makes you, <laughs> it makes you want to hit him more. <laughs> and then next thing you know, you're at like 101%. Okay, but Brand, despite not ha oh my god, but despite not having his gyro this entire game, is keeping it close, definitely. He might be one down throw up there away from the start. Oh, he reflected that. Very smart. Oh, he's got his gyro back. Wild not keeping. Uh, ooh, see that? Okay, ooh, that down smash. That down smash used to be the brand special. Back in the day, he would nair into you, and then he would down smash after. It didn't matter if the nair hit or not, he would down smash every single time. That was what we called the brand. Luckily, things are different now. Alright, going to the other side. Okay. Ooh, that laser could have been really rough. Alright, brand has the gyro again. Maybe he can uh, put it to good use, get a good kill setup off it, but ooh, that runoff back here was nice. I like that. He knew, I I think he knew, I mean, when you're on a platform, ooh, when you're on a platform over top of Rob, odds are he's going to try to shark you with an up air, so uh, Wild recognized that. And we're pretty much right back where we started. He keeps shielding that gyro, which basically gives Brand another free one. Oh, shield it again. Oh. oh, he caught it. And that's in the pocket. <laughs> that was a very strange, uh, very strange interaction right there with the down throw. Rand uh, actually has a, a slight lead this time around, which is, uh, I mean, it's only like 20%, but still it's something. Bowling ball? Oof, that was scary. Rand down for the downer, they were trying to end it. Okay. He's been getting a lot of good uh, turnip pulls this time around. He's getting a lot of triple. Oh, that back here. Super strong there. Brutal. It's 1-1. One, one. I'm not sure where Wild... Wild probably wants to take him to Lilat. He does love that stage. He loves the stage. But the thing, well, Lilat's also a good stage for Rob, so... Yeah. Um... I don't know, we'll see. He's oh Omega. Okay. You can wall jump on this stage, so. Uh I know I definitely know he wants those walls just for bowling walls. So that they can't go like way underneath. Okay. They got a lot more space this time around, so. Really good job of like the start of the here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This matchup is weird because like usually it's gonna be villager running away, you know, as hard as he can. And a lot of time Rob is gonna have to be kind of chasing after him. But the thing is, Rob isn't really built to chase at all. He's mainly built for you know, camping with projectiles and whatnot. But he can't really do that. Villager kind of takes that option away from him. So. But if he does get in, he can do a lot of damage. If he does get in, he definitely does get a lot of damage. Because he's got well, he's got great edge guarding tools for one. Um, ooh, that's a triple. Wow, that was a great tech there from Brand. I think that was a spike, right? Yeah, that was a that was a triple. That was wild. Oh, I gotta stop saying that. I've been saying the word wild a lot recently, and I don't think I can uh, 
I'm sure you have. I don't think I'm going to be able to make the adjustment. You guys are going to have to put up with it. Reverse hit didn't matter Locked anyways. Roll. Still got the stop. And he's got a gyro too in the pocket. So Definitely going to be seeing more candy. Oh, I like that. The landing up air. Okay. I think a lot of it's going to come down to, oh, in pocket again, but he's probably going to be, his best bet is finding a, a setup off of, off of the ledge, you know, trying to catch a get up option with a back air or an up smash or anything like that, uh, or beat boot, but nope, doesn't get it. Smart, wow, oh, I thought he died for a second there, that would have been absolutely crazy if he got the kill off that. Oh, I think he re-grabbed the ledge there, but... Yeah, Brand's really gonna wanna take out the stock. Yeah, Brand... I, I think... Well, he's... I think he's in up throw percent now. Uh, at least maybe with, like, with one pummel. Oh, he forwarded there. I'm not sure why he didn't go for the grab. But, uh... Yeah, one grab is all he needs, and then he's gonna have his work cut out for him in the next stock. That's gonna be it. Okay. He's got his gyro back as well, so... Ooh. He's got the gyro in his pocket. Okay. Brand really got some good momentum going into this second stock. Uh, Wild looks like he's playing on the offensive uh, quite a bit right now. Yeah. It's because what what I'm seeing from Wild is it's he's playing the the keep away game whenever he's got the gyro in his pocket, and whenever he doesn't, he's uh, he's trying to go in uh, until he can get the gyro back in his pocket. But right now, actually, he's going actually against what I'm saying. Completely. He's I been think going he's in. A good job of mixing it up here, though. Yeah. Oh, that's the that's axe. Smart stuff Great by Wild. Stuff from Wild Wild's definitely uh, definitely putting in some work this week. On a tear today. 